Salutations and welcome to the farm. We have a special day to celebrate today. Today is the day that 40 years ago, this little cowboy sat on the bus next to this innocent little girl and said, will you go with me? And I said, where? And then we ended up getting married and having four babies. And here we are 40 years later, despite the odds. And we're gonna celebrate our momentous occasion today by making a hand mold. We purchased this Luna Bean hand mold kit months ago and we've been waiting for this day to celebrate and this is how we're gonna do it. So we're gonna open up our kit and see what all is inside and we're gonna go through the first process which is actually making the hand mold that we will be filling later with the plaster of Paris to actually make the statue of us holding hands. So Papa Jim, let's go ahead and open this up and see what we have. I want to know is this bucket is not easy to open to get to your contents. You're going to have to have someone stronger than me to pull open this tab and get it open. Somebody's laying an egg. All right, let's see what we've got in here. Whoa. Wow. This is the step one. This is the powder we're gonna to use to make the mold of our hands. This is step two. This is what we're gonna to use to create the actual casting of our hands. This is the plaster ferris. And then there's also a packet in here that has your instructions, a popsicle stick that I'll show you how to use later, an orange stick, a safety pin, some uh, little pieces of sandpaper, and your instructions. So we're gonna go ahead and get our instructions out and see what we need to do. So I've already got nine cups of water in here. And what would you expect? Nothing less living here on a farm than using a mason jar to measure out my cool filtered water this is you want to use distilled water you don't want anything with minerals in it so here is cups 10 11 and 12 into our bucket now your first thing you want to do is you want to practice how you're going to hold your hands in the bucket to make sure that you have enough room the hand holding is comfortable something you're going to be able to withstand because you're going to have your hands in here for five or six minutes. So the first thing that we're gonna do now that we've got our water in our bucket is we're gonna practice how we're gonna hold our hands in the water. So let's practice how we're gonna hold our hands. I think we've decided we're just gonna try to hold our hands the way we've held them for the last 40 years. Anytime we sit on the couch together or go for a walk or even as we lie next to each other, sometimes we'll wake up holding hands. So let's give this a try and see how this feels. You go to the bottom, don't touch the bottom. You don't touch the bottom and you don't touch the sides. You want to make sure you've got plenty of room. That feels pretty good, doesn't yeah. it? I think that's what we're going to go with. So now before you start this process, you're going to want to make sure that your nails are trimmed, make sure they're clean, make sure you don't have any hang nails. You can clean all this up afterwards in the process. But if you have longer nails, you're going to want to put some clay or some soap or something underneath your nails. Otherwise, they'll break off after the process. So we've determined our hand holding position. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're going to make our first medium here to do the mold. Now when you do this, you don't wanna dump the entire thing in. You wanna do it in stages. Trust me, I've seen some other tutorials and you don't wanna do this all at once. So we're gonna put about half to two thirds of our product into our bucket first. We'll give it a good mix and then we'll add the rest of our powder. Two-thirds. Do your best not to inhale the powder. It would be really nice though if it was strawberry or cherry flavored since it's going to turn pink here in a second. And it says that you're supposed to add the powder to the liquid. 
Yes, don't add your liquid to the powder. Add the powder to the liquid. Good point. Because if you add the liquid to the powder, um, portions of it will set up too fast. Okay, Papa Jim, I take that. And you only have so much time to work with this once you get started. And it's also important to note that you will never get all of the lumps out, but you just want to mix it as well as you can. And then really stick, start going. There we go, it's all in. Now while Papa Jim is finishing this up, I'm gonna prepare my hand with just a little bit of baby oil. And then when he's done stirring, he'll prepare his hand with a little bit of oil and we're gonna get it right in there. I say we're golden. Teamwork makes the dream work. Are you ready? This is a bright pink. We're gonna tilt this forward a little bit after he's done stirring. Look how bright pink that is. When we're all done with this, this is gonna be white. Once it starts changing colors, you gotta work at it. You wanna tap out the air bubbles. No, you're good. That's noisy, huh? Pound it on the table a couple times. And let's go, you ready? feels so weird. All the way down, almost to the bottom. Wiggle your fingers around, get everything all incorporated in there. You've got a couple of minutes for wiggle room. Now one thing I didn't do is I did not put something protective down on our work surface. I was going to put some newspapers down and I forgot. That's okay, this will clean up okay. Now see, I, I told Papa Jim we don't want to have a death grip. We want to have a nice, natural, relaxed hand hold. So you have a couple of minutes of time where you can readjust. I want to make sure we're not touching the bucket anywhere. We're centered well, we're relaxed. And now we just have to wait probably about five or six minutes. This is going to start changing colors. You may or may not be able to see it, but this is going to start changing colors. It will get lighter and lighter and lighter until it's finally white. And once it's white and it has a consistency of like a marshmallow and you can push on it but not really leave a mark, then it's ready for us to take our hands out. The mold around Papa Jim's arm is already starting to turn white. It's starting to change colors. So I would imagine in a couple of minutes here, it's going to start hardening up. We're not going to be able to move. I don't know that we picked the most comfortable position to get into. I think this might be the hardest part of the entire thing is just trying to stay still. And the mixture is turning white. It's starting to turn colors. The process has started. I'm starting to get a cramp in my shoulder. the go time right now. I think if you stand up straight like this. I am now on my tippy toes for the next two to three minutes. My shoulders cramping up a little bit. <laughs> Starting to get thick, I can feel it getting thick. I have to be 
<laughs> this is like our version of a game on Survivor. <laughs> How long we can hold still. Hold in one position. I will tell you that at first, when we first tried this to see how we would hold our hands, it felt like a comfortable position. I think if we were to do it again, I might put the bucket on a little bit lower of a platform so we don't have to hover over it on our tippy toes. Right. And I think we started too soon. It says here that uh, empty the bag in, blah, blah, blah. Before the pink color of mixture completely fades, quickly tap the container on the counter a couple of times releasing the trapped air and then insert hands into the container. So we might have started when it was still a little bit too using hot Using a slight wiggle action. Don't wiggle now. We're not going anywhere now. It's, it's setting up. We just have to wait for it to completely set up. You know, when we were dating, my mom would make jokes. Not jokes, but observations. I think she found it endearing that we were constantly holding hands. We would even wash the dishes holding hands. Just couldn't get enough of each other. And here we are 40 years later, living on a farm, taking care of chickens, We've had our babies, we've got our grandbabies, and today we're celebrating 40 years together. Okay, so look, Papa Jim. Mm -hmm. See how you can push on yeah, it? It doesn't stick. And it's not sticking. Right. So let's give this one more minute, and I think we're about done. It will not stick to your finger when touched. It should be firm and spring back when pressed. Yep. And should not leave an indentation. I sure. think we're almost there. Leave an nope. I think we're about there. I think we're about there. And it says here, once material has set, carefully remove one hand at a time by wiggling it around in the mold. As to break suction, work the hands out slowly and carefully as there is no rush. Okay, we ready? I think I'm gonna go first. Alright. So you can get, get, get what you want to do. I'm going to wiggle my fingers a little bit to break that suction. I can feel it breaking the suction. Wiggle a little bit. Oh, yeah, I feel it. I'm free. There we go. So if you see anything that's kind of just floating around in there, you want to go ahead and take those out. But now what we're going to do is we're going to pour a little bit of water in there, rinse it out, pour it out. That way if there's anything in there that's floating around, it won't be in the next part of the process. But that part, it cleans up pretty good off of your skin when you take it out. So let's do the next part and see what we get. out and we'll get ready for our plaster of Paris. Okay, perfect timing. We're ready to do step two. We're going to do the plaster of Paris and we have a chicken behind us laying an egg. So she's going to serenade us while we do part two. So we've already rinsed out the mold and we took it outside and drained it, but it says, according to the instructions, if you see any moisture in there, you want to just take a little paper towel, pop it in there gently, we're going to turn this upside down and let it collect any extra water that's sitting in there. So we'll let it sit for a couple minutes and absorb the moisture that's inside from us rinsing that out. Now we're already wondering if we put our hands in deep enough into the bucket, 
We're thinking we probably could have gone down another inch, maybe two. So we're not quite sure how our hand mold is gonna turn out. It might turn out with just our hands and not any of our wrist or forearm, which yeah. that might be okay. Yeah. I mean, I saw my, so I know it's not gonna be all the way in there. It's just gonna be our hands. It's just gonna be our hands, yeah. which is fine. I just don't want it to be our hands here. I'm hoping it's up to here with just our hands. To there. Maybe. Maybe, just a little bit of our wrist. So it has something to stand up, otherwise it's just gonna have to lay down. Which could be pretty too. The chicken concurs. <laughs> it's all a learning experience, this is fun. Make sure you hold it, so it pull out. If we have to, we can do it again on our 50th anniversary. Will you still be around? You're gonna, not gonna run off and trade me in for two 20 year olds or anything? Yeah, let me do the math. Do the math, that's 10 more years. How old is it? In 10 more years, I'll be 64. You could turn me in for a couple of 32 year olds. Yeah. Or. It's tempting, just or, know I won't be trading you in for anybody. So. Not even the uh, pool boy? Not even the pool boy, Antonio. Antonio. Antonio the pool boy. So we have three and a half cups of cool water that has been uh, filtered or distilled. Just don't use water out of your tap. And we have our plaster of Paris. Now I need to know, do I put the water in and then add the plaster of Paris or we put the plaster of Paris in and add the water? These details are important. Add three and a half cups of cool water to the bowl to first. The bowl. So we're gonna put three and a half cups of cool water in the bowl. And when I pour this into the bowl, I'm gonna save a little bit in the corner here, and that way we'll have it, in case we need to mix it up later, to fix any imperfections in our casting. So I'm gonna add this in to our cold mm. water. And I'm just going to pinch the corner of the bag so I've just got a little bit left over here. Now we know we're going to have enough plaster of Paris because we didn't put our hands in very deep. So I'm not worried about not having enough. We're going to keep this for repairs. And we're just going to use a stir stick from the paint shop to mix this up and get all of the plaster of Paris incorporated in with the water. So we're going to stir this for several minutes. The instructions say about eight minutes. We're gonna stir this until it starts to thicken up. I'm guessing it depends on temperatures and stuff. This is an important step as it gives the stone its strength. To... So you don't wanna add it in too early. No. You do wanna let it start to thicken a little. According to the instructions, it helps it gives it strength. So we're just gonna keep mixing this up until I start noticing a difference in consistency. And then you're gonna to wanna to pour it into your bucket in stages. And we'll show you that once we get there. I can already see that we're gonna have a lot of bubbles that we're gonna to have to fill. I can already see them on our fingers. We're gonna have very bubbly fingers. So it's good that we've got some plaster of Paris. Do you see down in there, see all the bubbles? Yeah, but the bubbles are gonna be outward, so you're gonna to have to sand them down. Oh, I'll sand them down, okay. You'll have to do like a cosmetic. Cosmetic repair. It's like going to the and, Beverly Hills doctor to get all. I mean, we, we didn't mix it vigorously and we shook it before we put our hands in, but there are a lot of bubbles there. But the bubbles are out there, so you don't have to show up and fill anything. We'll be okay. But if I have to, if I have to sand off a lot of bubbles, we're going to be sanding off all of our natural skin creases and all that. We'll have to see, you know, you just don't know what you're going to get. I say we go for it. Okay, so we're gonna only fill this about a third and then we're gonna move it around a little bit. Make sure it gets into all of the little nooks and grannies. And I mean really tilt it and roll it there, Papa Jim. It's really thickening right now. Oh, hurry up. 
Slam it on the table so we don't have any bubbles. So maybe we did do it just right. Do you guys have yours left? The microphone picked all that up. So the top side. Yep. You see any more air bubbles coming out? I'm burping a kid. Hold on. wait. This has to sit here at a minimum of two hours, undisturbed, um, up to six hours. So I think now is the perfect time to maybe go have a celebratory lunch. We'll go into town, pick up some chicken feed, have some lunch, and when we come back, we will unmold this and see where we're at. So we'll be back. Okay, we've had quite the eventful day. You can tell from the window behind us, it's dark. We left this to sit and we went and had lunch for our anniversary. We picked up some feed for the chickens. We took a nap because <laughs> we're turning into old fogies and we just wanted to give this plenty of time to set up. Now according to the instructions if you're going to be out and about doing things and this is going to sit for a certain number of hours you turn it upside down out of the bucket so that all of the water can escape any moisture and when we turned this over it did have quite a bit of moisture. But the time has come, we're going to go ahead and we're going to unmold this, see how our hands turned out. Now I will tell you that even though we have this upside down now, I've seen some people start taking this apart from here and then they hit where the fingers are and they're pulling things and it messes with the fingers. So we're going to turn this back over, as heavy as it is, and we're going to start taking it apart from the wrist section down. So we're just going to start. They gave us these little tools. You can use a popsicle stick, and then this is for cleaning up really refined areas where some of the stuff is stuck. But if you take the popsicle stick, you can just kind of cut into it and start peeling it away. Just like this, look, big old chunk coming off. Just like that. So we're gonna carefully let him have that, and I'll just dig at this a little bit at a time. You just start carefully pulling it away and separating it from the mold where your hands are. Yeah. So don't stab my finger. So that's why you gotta be careful not to. You just cut it. Cut it at the top and then peel it away. Don't dig it like that. Ooh, I see a thumb. I think you don't even really need it. It seems to be peeling away pretty easily. It's kind of cathartic. It's kind of neat to dig into it and see what you find. It's like we're on an archeological dig. Ooh, I feel it peeling away. Big chunks, so it's easy enough to do. You really don't need um, that cutting part, that little popsicle stick. Once you start getting in here, it just kind of peels away in chunks if you're real careful. There it is. Because we had so many air holes, I'm gonna have to really um, sand that down, clean it up. And we've got some extra plaster of Paris here on the edge that we'll clean up. But yeah, it's really bumpy. But I think if we um, 
take our little piece of sandpaper here and as it dries we can just kind of knock those bumps down and I'll take my time over the next several days and just really clean this up nice and then we'll have our hands but I see my hand here and Papa Jim's hand here we've got perfectly molded thumbs perfectly molded fingers it's just a matter of all of these little bumps that I'm not real pleased with. Not pleased with the bumps, so we must have had just way too many air pockets. But we did follow directions and we tried to get all the air bubbles out. But I think it's gonna be okay, especially if you just, look honey, if you just rub your thumb across it, they kind of pop off. That's what I was wondering, if they'll just pop off. They'll just pop off, and so I'll just spend some time cleaning this up. Yeah, you just gotta kind of rub, lightly rub. Yeah, they'll clean up. They'll clean up. Look how nice. So I'll get some close-up pictures, show you how it all turns out, and um, the next step will be to seal this, and then to put some color on it. And uh, I think that's pretty neat. So I'll take some pictures when I get that done. None of our fingers broke off, so that's good. And that's what this little thing's for, is if you find any little plastic or right. something that's down in the in the creases, like here in your thumb. There's some plastic right here. You just, let, you just keep picking at it. Right? You just pick at it and take all the little pieces out of Excuse where me. there's oh, nooks and crannies. That's just part of the plaster. But down here in between our thumbs, there's quite a bit of material in here that can be picked out, cleaned up. So I'll come out here and work this out, but I think it's gonna be nice. We've got a nice little mold of our hands. And like I said, if you just kinda of go at it, those little bumps will come off. It's just gonna be tedious work cleaning it up. So if you're going to do this, make sure you don't have a lot of air bubbles. We really too, thought we did. I think another thing too, I'm wondering, is we kind of went in early. I wonder if we should have spent a little bit more time knocking it around and oh, stuff. We might have needed to do that. But like I said, I think a lot of this will just be scraped down with the sandpaper. Knocked off and stuff. And we'll clean it up. But see, like a lot of the, you can see like your skin and stuff. Yeah, you can see the cracks and the crevices yeah. in, in the folds of your skin. I don't know how much is going to remain on the fingers once I clean the fingers up. I don't know if you're going to see the detail of the of the fingers as much as I wanted. But, I mean, already just with this little bit of sandpaper, your hand is already smoothing up nicely. So it's just a matter of spending a little bit of time to take care of the little finer details. Right. See, that's cleaning up nice. Just a matter of getting all of the little bits off. Getting real light with it. Yeah. So I'll spend the next couple of days, little by little, cleaning this up, and then we'll show you how it turns out. Pretty cool. I think it's amazing. Hold my hand. Yep. It looks like it. Good cool picture. Which way? This way. No, other way. More. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.